What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Inkscape tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about how to use Inkscape proxies in order to keep your SketchUp models running quickly while importing high polygon geometry. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the things that can get a little bit frustrating inside of SketchUp is trying to bring in high polygon models for rendering. And so I wanted to talk about one of the extension Inkscape solutions for working working with this. And so to start off, this is a model that I've downloaded from the 3D warehouse. It's the Hungarian House by SZ Kristoff. So you can uh, search for that in the 3D warehouse if you want to pull, pull this down and follow along. And uh, it's a pretty detailed model. And one thing it doesn't have though is it doesn't have any trees inside this background. And so what I want to do is I want to bring in some tree models um, into this SketchUp model. And then we're going to render that using the extension Inkscape. And so to start off, you can go to the 3D warehouse, you go to a file, 3D warehouse, and you can search for something like uh, trees for rendering or something like that. Um, usually I sort by popularity and you can bring something in. So in this case, um, I'm going to bring down maybe this standard tree. We'll bring down the standard, tr standard tree tall autumn and this is by in, in Abiance architecture. So you can find this online. You can see how each one of these has about 2,900 polygons and a file size of about 750 kilobytes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in. I'm just going to click the button for download and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load this directly into my model. And so you can see how I can place this wherever I want. And just to give you kind of an idea, if we were to render this in Inkscape, so if I was to go into Inkscape and just click the start Inkscape button, that's going to go ahead and that's going to export all of this and that's going to show up in our render and it's actually going to look pretty nice. And this one's kind of interesting because at first when this first loads in, all of these leaves are in here as kind of individual images. So they're not actually modeled as this geometry as much as each one of these is an image. But you can see how that renders out really well inside of Inkscape without really having to change anything or anything like that. So uh, that's kind of the effect that we want is we want a realistic tree like this. It kind of fits in pretty good with the uh, it fits in pretty good with the Inkscape grass rendering and everything else. But if we were to, like for example, I'm going to go ahead and close Inkscape on my right hand screen real quick. But if we were to start copying a bunch of these into our model, um, what happens is our model starts getting really big. So if we go up to our window model info, you can see how right now, You've got something like 342,000 faces, 778,000 edges in here. And if we start making copies of this, so let's say we were to just, I know these will be in a straight line, which isn't very organic looking, but let's say we were to make three copies here. Drop some of them back here. You know, all of a sudden you've added a bunch of extra edges and faces into your model and your model's going to perform, um, let's just say more poorly because one of the things that SketchUp doesn't do super well is handle super heavy polygon type models. So things that have a bunch of different polygons in them or things that have a bunch of high resolution images or things like that. When you start loading this stuff into SketchUp, a lot of the time it can start running really slow. So even though this rendering might run really well, um, the model itself inside of SketchUp might slow down to a crawl and you might start having problems. And so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to erase out these extra trees that I created and we're going to load these in as Inkscape proxies instead. So a proxy is basically a model that gets brought in to SketchUp so you can see where it's going to be located, but it doesn't actually load in this geometry. Like for example, um, we would basically have a box in here showing us where this tree would be without it actually loading in all of these individual images or anything like that. And so in order to do that, basically what's, what Inkscape does is if you click on this button for Inkscape objects, it gives you an option for linked model. What that means is this will find an external SketchUp model and it'll link to that and it'll load that in when it renders, but it won't load it in inside of SketchUp. So I'll show you exactly what that means. And so the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to save my model. That's always a good idea before you start dealing with things like proxies and heavy geometry. 
And so the first thing I'm going to do, because I've already brought this into my model, is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to save it in a location where I can find it. So if you have an asset library or something like that, this is a good time to use this. Or you can do a save as. So right click on the component and click save as. And in this case, I'm just going to save this as something like autumn tree or something like that. A lot of the time I'll save that um, with the name of the tree. So if I have to go back and find it again, I can do that. Basically what that does is that'll just save a copy of this individual component into that folder. Well now, now that we've done that, we can click on this button to add a linked model and just go find that autumn tree object. And so when I do that, what this does is this is going to bring in a bounding box indicating to you where this tree is going to be. And so you can see how I can kind of move this around and I can place multiple different versions of this box inside of SketchUp. And so you can see what I end up with here, and I'm going to go ahead and erase out this original one, is I just have a number of empty boxes in here. But what these empty boxes actually indicate is these actually indicate where that geometry is going to get loaded into your model. And so you can see how what this does is this isn't actually running up our edge count or our face count or anything like that inside of SketchUp because it's not actually loading this geometry. And you can actually see that this will show you which file is linked to these different proxies um, by looking in the Inkscape options toolbar. But now, if I was to load Inkscape again, you can see what that's gonna do is that's actually loading all of those different trees from that exterior model file and it's rendering them even though their geometry isn't actually inside of SketchUp. And so what that means is you can start bringing in much higher polygon items into your model and load them in this way because Inkscape is better Inkscape's engine is better at rendering this high polygon stuff than SketchUp's is. So this is a great way to speed up your renders and bring in these detailed models without having to actually drop that geometry inside of SketchUp. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Is this something you could see yourself using or have you used it before? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.